finance and career and heart to heart conversation. So into this meditative energy, you guys, honestly, it feels really good. Libra, I feel like both of you are going to be coming into this very differently. And, you know, finance and career, it could just mean like both stabilize outside. It's almost like you guys just shifted your focus outside of this connection. I feel this could be a very deep soulmate, um, twin flame reading as well. But there's a union here, something coming to resolution. Change has happened, big change, major change has happened between the both of you or something has impacted for someone. Maybe someone got a really great opportunity and now are in a better space headspace to be able to focus on the other areas of their life um point is i feel there's a good energy here yeah there's a good energy here of change and two people coming together um to resolve and talk because of the headspace you both are in. Yeah, retreat. I'm telling you, past life relationship and soulmate. This is a soulmate. And for some of you, twin flame energy ascension, where an ascension happened. Now you guys are back. Attraction, forgiving, learning. There is something you both had death energy, transformation, like a, either a dark night of the soul. Something within your spirit has transformed that now it's ready to come back together because of some of the healing that has taken place during this um, retreating space. And, you know, now you guys are going to really, you know, like talk, but also express in a different, energetically even, in a different mind frame. So let's see what else we've got for this energy. I, I really do feel it. It feels really good. Um, I feel like you both have taken time. Oh my God, I swear when you guys see these cards I'm looking at right now, I just flipped into more spirit. I, here we have justice and hermit, solitude, balance and solitude. And I, I feel like this retreat served for balance. You know, it's a karmic correction. Also, justice is about correcting ourselves, denying the self. Um, emotional loss, five of cups. Look at this, five of pentacles and the world. So it was drastic. It, I, this is like change and something big transformed you know we do have the nine of cups in the bottom so definitely emotionally coming out very different from whatever this setback was again financial material change here so it could have been a, a lost of job and now the world is here so it's a cycle that's ending you know nines again represents cycles ending so it's very humor this justice and again, it feels like a karmic correction that's happening of something that healed within the both of you. Give me one's justice. Yeah, four of swords. Four of swords, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. There is, so you could be dealing with a earth sign um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra. But this time apart um, is a karmic correction where, but energetically, I feel also a stabilization. Again, finance, camp, pentacles, and, and coming to finally emotional resolution, feeling a lot better um, about where we are right now, you know, our current situation, tough energy. To get us there, right? Stabilizing. Give me more of this nine of uh, um, this hermit energy, solitude. Yep. Grounding, four of wands, the 11 11 card, definitely twin flame energy, the sun, and this is healing. So, this awakening in this hermit energy has allowed for lots of illuminations, but an energy to awaken, to go through this transformation to shift things internally alone 
and uh, to come out of it, you know, uh, transformed, you know, to really clear our minds with the sun. Get more of this Five of Cups. Why the Five of Cups? Has it been easy with this Five of Cups? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, and this union, it's, it's, it's helped for a different understanding and perspective. Get more of this Five of Cups of, of yourselves individually. Yeah, there goes that strength card. Get more of this Five of Cups. The resilience needed. Yep, our ego death. Four of Cups. Right, strength and four of cups, a lot of our emotions. This is very low, and there goes five of cups again. So this is low in our emotions. There's a lot that has been um, coming up, and we've had to tame our own selves without, you know, usually these, these connections are catalysts at times. And so it puts us, the, 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 the separation of this puts us in a space to face ourselves. It doesn't come across that way initially, but eventually you, if you really are out of the victimhood, right? And taking the journey seriously of what, what you need to see and not in this blame game of this person did this or this person did that. Again, letting it go, forgiving and learning, just releasing it and facing yourself and taking care of yourself, then you come to a clear mind about where you stand. Uh, Game of Five of Pentacles. It's too many cards, but Ten of Swords definitely coming to an end here. Game of Five of Pentacles. Wow, Ten of Swords fell, but now we got Ten of Wands. So. Ten of Wands and Three of Cups. I do feel this decision has to take place. Oh, and there goes that death energy, but not until this transformation happens. So, um, but this means the end, right? The burdens are, are have lifted this transformation because we've taken this death energy, this ego death, this soul awakening seriously. And, you know, we will make a decision to connect at some point reconcile right forgive and learn so basically we'll be in a better emotional place to be in in a in a space together to rectify and um the reconciling items in in the connection and it now comes with a different perception too with this death energy because once you go through this ego death you you don't see things the same and if you're still seeing this, the things the same then Obviously, nothing's going to change, right? So, can we run this world? Why the world? Yeah. This commitment, Seven of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. This commitment and this whirlwind of change, again, financially for, for one of you, um, or both of you, but it was, it took time to rebuild, right? Financial material change, maybe even moving locations because we have the world. Also the world, it's the fixed sign. So um, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, maybe something big happened in those seasons where it just, again, was you were taken away or you, your separation happened or just your energy was shifted to refocus on other things. And I really think on the earthly plane because we're looking at pentacles. So let's see what some blockages were here. What are the blockages for it? What are the blockages for Libras? Yeah, lessons. And that's really what it is. Lessons meant to make you stronger. And that's what the strength card is. And emotions. Emotions are heightened right now. So, yep. And nurture healthy relationships. So, this is definitely teaching you both. And this is why I'm saying the communication is going to be a lot different. The reconciling items, the way you speak, it, it's, it's going to be different than the past. You both have come a long way. Um... And so hopefully these are healing grounds for you now and you both will have this conversation. 
and have more consideration us honestly to each other so following your heart the only way to be happy is to get out of your head and to follow your heart listen to your inner child to learn what is it means to feel what you want instead of thinking about it your heart is the only one who knows the right way for you and then of course self-care all this retreat was for that so solely to learn and you can only take care of others if you first take care of you revitalize yourself and bring you back to your power and let others be inspired to do the same lead by example and definitely you know once that that understanding takes place you know you guys can amicably come back and really embrace each other on in a more nurturing uh, healthy self individually let's see shadow work oh my god this came out for gemini as well i shuffle these cards so much examine your shadow self to understand the parts of you that are wounded and repressed and that's really what's been happening this death energy shadow work represents all of this so it feels like aqua i mean Aqua and Gemini, all you air signs is what I'm trying to say, are experiencing a lot of just shadow, shadow work um, this week and the next couple of weeks, maybe. Because again, tarot, whenever you watch, this is when it resonates. So that's just how tarot really operates. Um, but definitely shadow work and to, you know, really dive into and examine ourselves individually, right? Because no one knows your shadow work unless you dive in, you know, it's not going to be your neighbor or your mom or your cousin or your coworker. Shadow work is an individual journey as it is for you, as it is for your person. We cannot do that work for anybody and they cannot do it for us. So, um, I'm going to leave it there. Of course, Libra, 